celebration is a going away party for an artist who has been a Venice fixture for 35 years. William Attaway built this studio, but now he's being forced to close his doors, evicted to make room for tech company expansion. I, maybe I just got too comfortable, I don't know. Maybe the, cha maybe the notice just woke me up. I think that's really what it was. Um, when I got the notice, it, uh, it was definitely a shock, but at the same time, I felt like a weight lifted. And, and I was much more clear. His painting and ceramic studio is surrounded by tech company offices and restaurants, prime real estate. But Attaway says the neighborhood was not always so desirable. I used to sell crack right in front, right there. Um, gun shootouts right in here. Um, police holding me down on the ground right here and, you know, looking for somebody else um, to beautiful families coming here and working every Saturday, 25 every Saturday for 10 years with the Venice Arts Mecca, which is now the Venice Arts. Attaway says skyrocketing prices have forced too many artists out of Venice. But he says for him, the changes mean new clients and new opportunities to share his vision. Right now, I want them to see the light, you know, in me, you know. Um, I want to inspire people, you know. And I think they are inspired when they see the amount of body of work I do in the different styles and mediums. Fuse it together. Sadad Shaheen is a bronze sculptor who has lived and worked in Venice for 20 years. He says he's the last artist left in his Oakwood neighborhood, but he thinks the changes are mostly positive. The loss is the original funk and uh, affordability and the, the sense of, of people kind of hanging and, and being supposedly free. The area was filled with a lot of um, a lot of lost souls. There was a lot of crime. There was a lot of uh, fear that was a, a resident in this community. Every house here had bars. You don't see bars anymore. People have thrown that stuff away. For me, it's not progress. It's more gobbling up. It's more like a Pac-Man mentality. Uh, MB Bosanov found a home for her art in Venice 16 years ago after training in Europe. She says the changes she sees are not progress. It's, it's not for everyone. It's very exclusive. It's very divided. It's very uh, monolithic. It's, it's really like get these people out of here kind of thing, which, I mean, we've been living with some of these people for d decades, and now they come in here and they want them gone. Bossano says she's seen many artists flee Venice in recent years because they can't pay the rent. She says the studio she shares with other artists is safer now, but she fears it too may close. And so to have this like gem of, a, of an art scene here, these last couple of blocks, if they destroy this, then, then it's really it's really tragic for Venice. I'm not going to cry for myself, but I will cry for I, I will cry for Venice because it really it really bothers me that they're going to destroy something and then they'll look back and try to get us back. She believes Venice faces a cultural crisis, and some artists are organizing to try to find a solution. And for how to survive here and how not to look like a bunch of victims and how not to use language that is all about being endangered and how us, again, us versus them and how to approach it in a way that's intellectual and progressive instead of, you know, oh, woe is me. We are seeing such um, an explosion of the tech companies, the startups, they're growing so fast. With all of this um, transition and change happening in Venice, it was necessary. Leslie Hines is not an artist, but she started a company called Everything Changes to try to bridge the gap between Venice artists and the tech companies. How do we put it together? How do we make this work in the most constructive way um, that is going to create, create opportunities for these artists as well as um, community engagement for these tech communities. She works with artists like Attaway to display their work at events sponsored by tech companies. Hines says the tech companies are here to stay, 
and she's trying to find a plan to make room for the artist. So there are no more going away parties like this one. In Venice, I'm Gina Preston for Annenberg Media.